Thanks, Alan. Let's see. Time now is 9.52. There is a new drama being launched on the BBC this weekend. We're all looking for things to watch, new aren't ones, we? Yeah. Could be the last one launched for a while because loads of production houses have had to stop productions. This one's called Normal People. It's based on the best-selling book by Sally Rooney. It's about an unlikely romance between two Irish teenagers. Take a look. You have a lot of posters. You don't? Ah, too cool. Don't think cool is the first word most people would associate with me. What would that be then? I don't know. <laughs> Annoying. Obnoxious. Argumentative, definitely. <laughs> Self-righteous, that's probably one. Uh, arrogance. Frigid. No, stop it, no one says that about you. People do say I'm annoying. So what? People probably say that about me too. No, they don't. No one finds you annoying. Shy people aren't annoying. You think I'm shy? Just because I don't give my opinion on everything all the time. You never give an opinion about anything. Ever. You just always know what you think. And I like that. You must know what you feel, though. No. I struggle with that, actually. Well, let's talk to the stars, Daisy Edgar-Jones and Paul Mescal. Very good morning to you both. Are we all established? Have we got a connection? I think so. Can you, yeah, can you see me? <laughs> yes, we can see you can hear, which is always a good start. So, uh, Daisy, um, there's, a, there's a lot of noise about this. People are really looking forward to seeing this ad adaptation for TV. And what a time to be bringing it to people, just when so many people are looking for things to watch. Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a kind of surreal time for us. I mean, it's it's odd even to be talking about it while all of this is going on. But um, I guess we're very lucky that we got the show done in time and that, you know, it's a TV show so people can still watch it during this kind of whole thing. And maybe, Paul, you, for those people unfamiliar with uh, about the book and whatever, just, can you give us a little synopsis of, you know, what's what's the beauty of the story? Yes, I think, um, to put it very uh, simply, it's a story about um, Connell and Marianne and them growing up through secondary school and their lives into college. And it's kind of about their relationship both in and out of it. Um, tell us um, both, tell us, Daisy, um, about the filming process. I mean, it must feel so odd now because I was just saying in the introduction there before we saw the clip, Production houses have pretty much ground to a halt. So I suppose you're looking back going, oh, they were brilliant days being able to go to work and, you know, be around other people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, if we had known that when this show was coming out, this would have kind of been the landscape. I mean, it just it's it's mad to think about it. But, um, yeah, we had the best time on, on the show. And, you know, we, we all knew that it was a very sort of loved story. So I guess... Uh, early on into filming you know there was, was a, there was a bit of a buzz about it but you know it, we were such a family and and it just it was so much fun that we kind of forgot about it and it's only really now that the show's kind of coming out that suddenly you're like gosh you know lots of people love this story and it, it feels a bit strange for us to kind of be to be showing it on Sunday. I imagine the pressure as well when a book is so popular people have an image don't they I mean it's it's like take Harry Potter for example everyone had an image of exactly how Harry Potter should look so with this character as well with Marianne how you know how did you feel you you needed to portray her and look? Yeah I mean you know I, I was a big fan of the book too and I often watch sort of adaptations and I always kind of hold on to my sort of idea of the story and I think Sally writes in such an amazing way that when you read the book you really feel that you own those characters and that they're, they're yours so um, definitely I think adapting it I did sort of have that in my mind that, that people love this character but I guess um, you know we're so lucky that we have the book because Sally has written such a detailed sort of idea of their inner life so you know you always knew exactly where your character's kind of head was at when you were coming to scenes but not only that you also have the way your character is perceived by you know for me Connell so I, I knew how Marianne comes across you know as well as as how she kind of feels inside so for example it would say I remember there was a, a bit where Connell kind of talks about Marianne's eyes like burning into the back of his head so so okay there's a lot of eye contact then <laughs> um but yeah, I mean, I think we were very lucky. We had such a wonderful team behind it that, you know, we were always mm. kind of direction. Paul, can I ask a slightly different question? 
and forgive me if this is a silly question, we've seen lots of people like footballers and whatever trying to keep their skills up during the lockdown, you know, or keeping fit. Now you're an actor, so do you practice acting at home during lockdown? And what, <laughs> what, what do you do to keep being an actor? Well, it's, it's, it's actually, it's a strange time and like most professions, we're all trying to adapt some way, but uh, we do this thing that's called, it's self-taping. It's basically when you audition for something, but you record yourself at home and uh, I'm currently isolating by myself. So trying to get another actor to read opposite you is now happening via Skype and Zoom. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's an odd thing, but I, I wouldn't say that I'm like acting in front, front of a mirror nine to five to kind of keep the skills up, no. <laughs> That would be a little odd. It's lovely talking to you both this morning. Uh, and, and, you know, in such strange times, a lot of people are very happy to see your work coming to our screens. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Normal People begins on BBC One on Monday 9pm. It's also available on BBC Three, uh, which is on the BBC iPlayer from tomorrow. Do you practice present in the mirror when you're not here? Nine to five. <laughs> Can't <laughs> tell. Can't <laughs> tell. Rachel will be with you tomorrow from six. Have a lovely weekend. Have Bye -bye. a lovely day.